where I had prior experience in the securities industry as a registered representative selling securities, uh, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. We have, we have no comment. Do you have more Hi, Ms. Hood. Hi, Ms. Hood. This is Christopher King. I'm with KingCast.net and Mortgage Movies. How are you? All right, it's a good day. You know, your name has come across my desk a few times, and I guess at this point, I was just wondering if you were aware that people affiliated with Everhome, uh, I think it's a law firm of Fine, Such, and Crane, they're still relying on documents that you signed, uh, you know, in, in a foreclosure process. Did, did you know that? You know what? I'm actually going to give you the number of our legal department, and you can speak with them. Okay, cool. I'd love to. Five three zero. Now, Bethany, it's uh, we were wondering. Just uh, you, you were on the documents as a vice president and officer of MERS, but a lot of the cases, in fact, have MERS stating that you don't work at MERS. What uh, would you have any comment on that? But um, what ends up happening is that in my case in particular, what's so interesting is there is a robo-signer. And what is a robo-signer? It's somebody that's paid to sign thousands of documents every day. Of course, we're they, familiar with Linda yes. Green. What was the robo-signer's name in your case? Bethany Hood. This is Bethany Hood at RPS Solutions. I'm away from my desk at the moment, but if you leave me a message, I will call you back. Thank you. Call your message at the tone. Hi, Miss Hood. I'm doing some fact checking for KingCast.net Mortgage Movies. I'm wondering if you can verify that that you, your team, uh, collectively and that you individually, won awards for being the most efficient mail handlers. Uh, if you could verify that for me, because I know you were listed as being a, 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 a MERS vice president also. So I just want to figure out how many jobs you had and how well you did at. It's part of a much larger Thank you case so that's, that's uh, yes. known throughout the country now. What case in, was that? In Indiana, it's uh, Coons versus Everholm. Right, the Coons case. Yes. yes. And, and it just so happens that the case with Mr. Coons is Everholm Mortgage, who is the same servicer who is enforcing a fraudulent foreclosure action against me. So what does Everholm do? In my case, they have Bethany Hood who forged an assignment of mortgage and now you have Everhome Mortgage, who Fine Such and Crane represents. They are showing a pattern and practice. Cheryl Newman, Abundant Processing Services, Inc. We can't take your call right now. Please get the message in lockdown as soon as possible. Hello, Miss Newman, KingCast.net Mortgage Movies. We have a question. This is regarding one of the robo signers that's been uh, heavily involved in some cases I'm reviewing now. Um, and so we need to talk to you about Bethany Hood and the fact that some of the documents she signed as a robo-signer are still being used in ongoing cases right now um, by the uh, Everhome mortgage people and uh, find such and crane. I'm investigating a case right now. I'm in New Jersey. Uh, I'm about to go into their law office now and ask them about this. But uh, it doesn't seem right. You know, I was a title insurance producer for a while in, in, uh, in New Hampshire, and uh, I was assistant state attorney some years ago as well, and I'm very... Uh, troubled by this, and so you can see the uh, results of, of my inquiry then sometime over the weekend, over the Thanksgiving weekend at mortgagemoviesblogspot.com, or you can write me at kingjurisdoctor at gmail.com, uh, or you can call me at 617-543-8085. And uh, with that, I, I just say I look forward to uh, hearing from you, and so do the consumers here I'm working with. Uh, We're here at kingcast.net. Mortgage Movies, we're on New York's Lower East Side. I'm here with Jerry Campora, who, uh, much like me, uh, is a former industry uh, specialist. Uh, I was a title insurance producer. Mr. Campora, what role did you play uh, in the mortgage industry, and when? Uh, I sold uh, mortgages to individuals. I did that for about two years, uh -huh. during the time of about 2006 to 2008. Uh, so I did that for about two years, and that was uh, where I had prior experience in the securities industry as a registered representative, selling securities, uh, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, all types of complex securities. And then so I had that background. They sell off the note, and then they make me an unwitting, undisclosed party, a third party to an investment contract.
then they want to pursue me and then want to collect on a contract that I was an undisclosed party to. And then after they've sold the note anywhere between five and 25 times the face amount of the note, they are then trying to collect something from me when in fact they owe me the proceeds of that sale of that note between five and 25 what they're talking times. about is they'll tell you that notes are allowed to be sold. And yeah, so what that notes are allowed to be sold? What about the contract that I was induced by fraud to sign when in fact there was not any loan? There was no loan given to me. There was no consideration given by them. Nobody is damaged. The person that is initiating the lawsuit, they are not damaged. The person that originated the loan, in which in my case is Homestar Mortgage Services, they are not damaged. They sold the note. And when I left the closing, they had the original that they could then now place into the trust. Which they don't place into the trust. That's the problem. And, and the problem is, is that it doesn't even go in the trust. They say it's going into the trust, but they never end up putting them in the trust. They ended up destroying them. And then ultimately, what do you have? You have a trust and investors that invested in this trust and they invested in air. They were told they were investing in loans. What, would, what did they invest in? They invested in a trust that doesn't even contain the loans inside of that trust that they invested in. And they're getting an interest on it. Yeah, that's what I do now. I travel the country and I document it. This is what I perceive to be a foreclosure fraud. I mean, this would be one of them. Monica Christie. Um, say your name again. Uh, hi. Christopher King. Hi, Christopher. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, we're, uh, we make movies about foreclosure fraud, and I had a question here because I know that uh, Monica Christie, I think, yeah. uh, and some of the, uh, the attorneys here uh, were involved using documents from a known robo-signer, and uh, so that's something I've been investigating. I was a title insurance producer a while back, and I was a state attorney, so, you know, that's what I do now is I travel the country and I document instances of what I perceive to be foreclosure fraud, and this would be one of them because of the use of... Uh, uh, What's her name? Bethany Hood. Bethany Hood in this instance. Okay, I, I, so. I, I don't have, we don't have any comment on those items. Mm -hmm. um, and what I would like to ask you to do, um, because this is private property and Ms. Chrissy isn't available right now, so if you could call back and make an appointment for another time. Okay, I would like to do that. Uh, weren't there other attorneys also who signed Yeah, Richard Gerbino or Michael Hanusak. So, it, and, and this is their office. It says I'm it on aware, the building. I'm aware. And she not, just was talking to Monica just now. And they're not available right now. Right. So we'd like to well, ask how do you, you to but, leave. But you didn't check on the other ones. No, like they're, they're, not, they're not available right now. So how, do you, like how to, do you know until you ask Could I just please ask you to leave? But, okay, so that's the bottom line is you're not going to check. You did not check to ask we me have, now, did we you? Have, we have no comment. And Just I, answer my question. Did you I ask them or not? I have no comment, and we'd like to ask you to leave now. Okay, that's fine. Thank Let's you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We do, too. Oh, you know, I'll leave my card in case they change their mind, though. Sure. That would be terrific, yeah, because you don't have any contact information. Great. Yeah, well, you do now. And there are some of the movies up uh, you'll see there. Mortgage movies, that's the card for kingcast.net. But they're on both. Uh, and you're, I'm sorry, you're Christopher, Christopher King. Christopher King, then? Correct. And are you? I'm part of his crew. You're part of his crew. Okay, terrific. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. And if you call back, I'm sure you'll be able to set up an appointment. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking to you guys. Hi, Chris King, Mortgage Movies. 
I'm not talking to you guys. You're not gonna shake my hand either. I don't know that they no, use, listen, I'm not gonna talk to you guys. Sports. But you're not gonna shake my I'm not hand either. To you guys. Thank you. Mortgage I'm not movies. You guys. Uh, also, I used to work in the mortgage industry, so I was a title insurance producer. Before that, I was a state attorney. So now I make documentaries about uh, foreclosure fraud. What's your name, sir? Sir. Sir. I missed. I missed your name. I didn't give you. Sometimes. Yeah, visit an attorney too. Yeah. Yeah. Do they cool. do it? Are they working in the mortgage area? Because in the mortgage area, you know, they've been using robo signed documents. They use robo signed documents that are forged from uh, from lender processing services. Are they still using these documents in order to commence lawsuits? Yeah, Bethany Hood. I mean, they, you know, were forged. I have no idea. 100%. We'll check the internet and we'll match the photo later. This is Mr. Fine, Such or Crane. I will bet anything. Well, I don't know. I'm not a gambling man. So no, I'm only, it's only my yeah. opinion. I'm, I'm, I'm Chris Mr. King. Fine, How are you, sir? Crane. I'm great, Chris guys. King with Mortgage Movies. I was a title insurance producer for a number of years, and then also as a state attorney prior to that. Those so this company, awesome. Fine, Such and Crane, what they do so is they do today. lawsuits and they use robo-signers. These documents that they're able to sue somebody. So yeah, the they're Coons using case. like counterfeit docs. You know, the Coons case that they're that amazing that, that what this company Find Such and Crane does? That's that they better. use forged the documents to create lawsuits for the appearance of standing? Because so standing is an elemental. We have to be in the basic. middle of a movie, and uh, we have this is one of our focus firms. 